The capital of the region of South Moravia, Brno, and the head office of the company Shangu Ekol became the venue for a visit and a joint meeting of the representative of the province of Shangzi, Lu Qinjiang, and the Checo Chinese company Shangu Ekol, which had been established one year ago. The Chinese delegations had been invited by the statutory authorities of the region of South Moravia. And it is from this province, with its 37 million population and its capital in Xiang, that the company Shanggu comes from. Owner of the well-known manufacturer of turbines and power units, the company Shanggu Eco. During the joint meeting, the representatives of the province of Shangzi and Shanggu Eco briefed each other on how to expand their dealings not only in the field of business and the supply of power units, but also in the areas of culture, sport and investment. The whole meeting was chaired by the managers of Shangu Eco. The managing director of Shangu, Steam Turbine, gave an extensive presentation on the various opportunities for working together, in especially business and technical areas. He spoke mainly about the potential for developing new equipment for the power and various other industries. Other presenters included the top representatives of Shangu Eco. The company founder, Professor Stanislav Veseli, talked to the audience about the history and successes of the company. The current managing director of Shangu Eco, Jeremia Krzyż, prepared the next presentation focused on current manufacturing and the future development of exports which in turn could lead to more opportunities for working together. Other presentations were made by representatives of the Chinese party, especially by top officials. We asked to interview the main representative of Jiangxi province. We visited the Czech Republic in connection with the visit of the President of China that took place in March. The Czech Prime Minister visited China a few days ago. I personally represent the province where the President comes from, and I came here to implement a program that has been proposed at the highest political level. I see potential for collaboration in the following areas. Firstly, in building transport infrastructure, including air transport. In my opinion, there are insufficient flights to China, so this area should be developed further. Another area is trade. A delegation of representatives of large corporations has come to me to take part in a number of business meetings. I'm hopeful that this will fall on fertile grounds. In addition, I would be happy to push for an exchange of university students and the creation of a Czech center in our province. This will all stem from the Memorandum of Mutual Cooperation that we have signed today at the regional South Moravian offices. The collaboration between the companies Shangu Eco and the Chinese Shangu is extremely positive. I think the two companies complement each other very well, and therefore both can move forward in their development and achieve higher targets. In China and in the province of Shaanxi, our industry has enormous demands for sources of power. The merging of these two companies opens the opportunities offered by our market and guarantees acquiring more business. Our province is situated at the beginning of the Silk Road, which in my opinion offers great potential for our two companies to develop. 
Our province is one of the fastest developing in the whole of China. It covers 200,000 square kilometers and has 27 million inhabitants. The capital is Xi'an, where you can find the Terracotta Army. We have 100 universities and 1,000 research institutes. Other interviews were provided by managers of Shanggu Eko. We have spent the last year in the company focused on the process of integration. We've had to integrate the systems that our Chinese partners have with ours. We've had to learn their system of working and they've had to learn ours. Integration is continuing here since one year is not long enough to unite the way the Czech and Chinese companies work. The process continues and will continue into the future. There are five Chinese specialists present in the Czech Republic, whose job it is to integrate the companies. One specialist is focused on the technical side, a second on financial aspects and a third on the design. Therefore, there has been cooperation in the company. But the most important task has been to unify the steam turbines. A relatively large number of designers have been employed on this task. This task is important not only for our company, but also for our collaboration with Shanggu, since we want to get into the Chinese market, where prices are 20 to 30 percent lower than in Europe. There have been a lot of changes during the first year in the adaptations made by the company, since Zhanggu is quoted on the stock exchange. We had to make monthly announcements, which we hadn't had to do in the past. However, we've managed to integrate in this area, and I think that, most importantly, we've managed to harmonize our different cultures. It wasn't easy to start with, but when I look back at it, I think we've made progress and that our Chinese partners have tried to adapt. They are currently trying to support us on projects in Europe. This is a big advantage for us that can move us forwards. We are currently working on various orders, such as turbines for Slovakia, even some business in Poland. We are starting a project in Saudi Arabia, which involves the delivery of a turnkey power center for a new sugar refinery. We are also preparing new projects for Croatia. We should do a project for Poland for the incineration of RDF, along with something similar in the Czech Republic and in Serbia. We've had a sales representative in China since last year. Another sales representative will be there from next month to specialize on this market. We'd like to focus on supplying biomass units to the Chinese market. The whole visit of the Chinese delegation to Shanggu Ekol confirmed the further opportunities for developing the ongoing work between the Czechs and the Chinese.